Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nodecasts. Today we're going to be talking about the JavaScript map method, otherwise known as array.map, and explaining how to use it and what it does. Uh, so the high-level overview is it iterates through each item in an array, and it returns a new array. That's really the most important thing about uh, functions like map is that they don't change the array that you run them on. They return a brand new one. And it returns that new array, allowing you to do anything you want to each item in the array and constructing a new array out of that. So let's dive into an example so we can see what I'm talking about. Uh, if we just go ahead and set up a basic array, we'll call it R, and we'll just fill this with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so then if we take R and we want to make a new array, so we'll call it new R, and we'll set that to R.map. And what map is going to take is a function. So we'll pass it a function here. And then that function is going to get a parameter. We'll call that i. And so i is going to be each item as it goes through the array. So it'll be 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. And so what we can do with i is anything we want. So for a really simple example, let's just return i plus 1. So now if we were to go down here and console log new array, we would see that that is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, so that's the real basic example. One nice thing that you can do now that we have ES6 and arrow functions is you can really reduce the space that you take up with a function like this. So we can actually turn this whole thing into i and then an auto return i plus 1. And if we go ahead and console, we can see that does the exact same thing. So um, basically, array map will take any array that you pass it in, it'll iterate over each number, and it'll perform any logic that you want on it, returning you a new array. And again, the important thing here is if I go and adjust console.r, that original array stays unchanged. 